Hello, and welcome back to the stream, and let me just turn this up. I messed that up. There we go. All right, so welcome back to the stream. I am super hyped for this. Uh, <laughs> Monster Enterprise is out. Text English, voice English, yes. Done. Yes, hello. So yeah, uh, I pre-ordered. Uh, no, wait. This is the deluxe edition bonus that I got. The pre-order was the regular dog and cat. The pre deluxe edition gives me the Kabuki face paint and Izuchi tail, and I think a new armor type too. Karurumurai. Anyway, yes, Monster Hunter Rise is out. I'm excited. Uh, I'm gonna be real. My first Monster Hunter was World. Like, I'm I'm a new person to Monster Hunter, but I've always been looking at it from afar. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so. I've always been, like, looking at Monster Hunter from afar, like, Hey, look at that cool thing! It's a shame that it sucks to control, because it was on the PSP and the 3DS, and you have to use the terrible grip to hold it. Uh, let's see here. Amiibo can now be scanned to enter a lottery at the market. Some amiibo will now allow you to receive bonuses. Downloadable content cannot be used. Oh, that's the patch they put out just recently. Hello, Bam. I am doing quite all right, although it is very warm out. So let's see here real quick. Um, okay, everything seems fine there, so let's go. Yeah, I I tried out Freedom Unite on PSP, like the demo. <laughs> Why is the Xbox doing a presentation thing? Now let's go with you. Ooh, fire. Oh, I know who I'm going with. The basic settings. I want you. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I mean, look. These guys run around all day carrying swords the size of their bodies. Are you going to say they aren't gonna be huge. They're not gonna be ripped. Okay, let's see. Um, Hold on, let me get a... Geralt of Rivia. Picture three. Let's take a look at Geralt here. Hmm, could you use a scar? Yeah, that's what I wanted. Um, what else we got? Overall, seems pretty good, honestly. Facial hair. Can I get some more beard? Not really. That's probably like the most beard I can get. Eh, yeah, I can see that too. It might be the background or like his sort of robe clothing that he has. A new follower. Oh, thanks for the follow, Bam GM. Right, what else do we have here? Oh my god, you can just make yourself red? Oh! Ooh, actually, I like that. I'm gonna change that color around, but I do like that. Uh, how about a not yellow maybe like a 
Yeah, right, just... Oh, actually! Wait, wait, can I, like, stack those? So, like, let's go with, like, a black on this one, right? Can I make this glossy? Oh, I can. I can make it, like, wet paint. Metallic. Ooh! Cool! Okay, now let's see. Oh, this is the upper layer. Okay, so if I do, like... Okay, I see now. So let's let's change this around. Let's put this here. And then this is going to be... Yeah, look at this! You can straight up just stack the layers. That's pretty cool. Alright, so how about... Instead of... Eh, well, maybe red. I think what I'll do is I'll probably, like, turn the saturation down or something. This actually looks pretty good. Alright, and then let's go back to the scar. Change this color to be something flesh-toned instead of red. Does it? Cool. Completely unintentional. I li This actually looks pretty good, though. Like, I can mess around with the mouth if I want to, but this looks pretty good as is. Make them big old thick lips. Yeah, I like this. I I actually like this. I was going to just go for a meme and make him look like Geralt, but I, I'm into this. So let's see, I've got, like, Athletics Underwear, Athletics Underwear 2, uh, Ninja Suit, or Ninja Jammies. Let's go with that one. You wanna go? No! Yo! Yo! Good day! Hello! Hi! Hello! Yo, yo, yo! Hey! Oh yeah! Magnificent! Hey! Hey! Hello! Hi! Hey! Good to see you! Let's have some fun, huh? Hey! I have arrived. Ah, oh, worry not. I am here. <laughs> Most enjoyable! Astounding! Great work! <laughs> Bring it on! Okay. Quite a feat. <laughs> you wanna go? This is kind of giving me, like, Father Owl vibes from Sekiro. Like I'm getting I'm getting a little hints of that. Magnificent. I'll take you on. Most enjoyable. Nah, he's too old for this one. Hmm. They kind of grade up in age as you go. Nice. Wow. This is great. Amazing. Amazing. This will be easy. Observe my hunting prowess. Yeah, so like these are teens, and then this is like this is like teens, and then you get adults here. Let's take it easy, huh? I rock. And then old men. Ready to roll. Okay. Let's do this. Quite a feat. I need a real challenge. Okay, so this is kind of like gruff older man no. who's super excited, and this is just like like this sounds like a wrestler. <laughs> I'm the best. You wanna go? Oh yeah. Magnificent. Yeah, this, I'm, I'm going with this one. This is like... This sounds almost like Randy Savage, like, older wrestler kind of voice. Right and this is just like, old man voice. Oh, check out the face! Like, he actually does like a... Look at that, he's actually like... Yelling during that, that's super cool. Wow. Well, if you want to make my character, there it is. Like, just straight up, there's my character settings. That's, I actually like that. That's a super good, this is actually a super good detail. I'm really into this. Like, if, for all the other ones, it's like, okay, look at your settings. This is what the settings are, blah, 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 blah. I have this set to that. But in this case, it's just like, no, just here's a page with all of them. That's a super good detail.
Let's do it. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, yes, Palamutes. Right, okay. Uh, let's see, what kind of presets do we have here? So we've got, like, purple wolf, light gray wolf, brown wolf, um, corgi wolf. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I've got plenty of practice. I've been doing this for a while now. Ooh, is this like a hyena wolf? Ooh, how oh, I like this one. And then you got straight up just a dog. It's like a silver Doberman kind of looking thing. Another dog. Scarred wolf dog. Look at this guy. All right, I'm going with this one though. Look, that is a nice looking doggo. Coat, fur patterns. It's pure white, so it doesn't have anything. Look at the detail you can go into. That's super good. See, probably this. You can even select your tail type. Change the color of this around. Attack. There's my settings for that. Let's save that setting. Man, there's so much good shit here. Whoops. And the cat. Palico time. Now I've got one of these all ready to go. I don't even need to think about this one too much. Um, no, this should be fine. Yeah, this actually looks fine to me. Support type. Ooh. Healing, assist, combat, bombardier, and gathering. Oh, I've been uh, streaming pretty much since 2019 regularly. Like, this past month I've been streaming basically every day, but more recently... But I, I've, been, uh, I've been streaming for quite a few... quite a while now already. Also... I'll bring it up after I finish with this, actually. Here's my settings for this. I didn't have to change a whole lot on this default because I just wanted a black cat with a white coat. There we are. So let's get a new character going here. Yeah, look at this trio! Look at this gang! So, anyway, as I was saying, just a reminder, currently, as I'm live, I am running a giveaway for an eShop copy of the game. If you have a Switch and you're located in the US or Canada, feel free to enter for that. Don't need to do anything else, just 
You need to use channel points and use the rewards. Like we've been caught in the act, Minoto. Quite disappointing, Hinoa. I really don't see how anyone could have noticed us. It was a perfect display of stealth. That's, That's why, why we expect great things of you. you. You're always, always razor sharp. Well then, I guess we still have a lot of training left to do. Uh, mm. What? You don't want us sneaking in? Oh, come on! This is Kimura! We're all practically family here. Besides, Elder Fugin is looking for you. By the way, so they're all ninjas. Ready. Can't keep him waiting. All of them are ninjas. Oh yeah, don't don't worry about it. It's just it's there <laughs> if somebody's available. Otherwise, think I'm more than happy to have people stopping by. I mean, yeah, but they're also they're also like your handlers for this game, I think. Thank you. I just got an important letter. It looks like we've got a rampage on our hands. A rampage? So it's finally beginning. <sighs> it's been 50 years since the last calamity. But I remember like it was just man look at the creases on this guy's face a horde of monsters the rampage a huge pack of monsters in a giant stampede they attack the village in a frenzied rage nobody knows why this happens but it came close to wiping out our village last time i think it's time we paid a visit to the stronghold we have to protect the village there's nothing to worry about, Elder Fugen. All of us, everyone in Kimura, we've all been training for this moment for our entire lives. Hm. Hinoa, we should start preparations right away. <laughs> if you want to talk about Hihachi, the fucking the Admiral in World is <laughs> just the same thing. Now that's what I like to hear. He's got the same hair and everything. <laughs> and also he fights with his fists. <laughs> <laughs> now, Rampage and all aside, I've got news for you. Great job. Got a message from the guild this morning says that you are now a certified hunter. <laughs> You're really living now, Squirt. Well, I guess I shouldn't call you now that You're certified, but don't think it'll stop me. <laughs> Don't mind that I'm like 60. I'm still a squirt apparently. Elder. Sorry to interrupt. Yep. I've informed the village of the coming rampage like you asked. Yeah. Oh yes, thank you. 
Congratulations. By the way, I heard heard the good news. You're finally official hunter. Wow, congrats. Sure. All you need to do now is register with the guild so you can start accepting all those quests. Mm. To do that, you need to speak with Master Hojo in the gathering hub. But first. But that can wait. First we go shopping. Sure. You'll be needing the help of other villagers if you want to succeed out in the field, so follow me. Let's start there. Mm. Let's see. The Marketeer of Mystery, Kagero the Merchant. How may I help? Let's see. <laughs> ah, so you're just a regular... You're a stockpile person, got it. Uh, sometimes offers items at half price, and that's when you can pick up some real bargains. Mm -hmm. oh. next. So, then let's wrap. Let's see where she go next. Yeah. Steadfast of Steel, the blacksmith. Ooh. Yeah, right. I mean, I'm digging it. Okay, what do you have? Oh, hello. Oh anytime. man. Hey. Let's see, preparing for the rampage. Yep. Now, now, Master Hamon, this time I've come to tell you the good news. I've been accepted into the Hunter's Guild. Yeah. The village now has a resident hunter we can all count on. What about literally everyone else in the village? Am I the badass? All right, no worries, dude. Thanks for stopping by. Hmm, I see. Well then, allow me to congratulate you. Oh, I, I will on occasion, but I, I stream pretty much every day, so just tune in around this time and you'll see it. <laughs> the equipment we forge is what makes a hunter. That's what it represents our village, too. A hunter who can't wield tatar steel isn't fit to fly the banner of Kamra. You'll find whatever you need here. As for crafting or finding gear, well, we can talk about that later. Oh, well, since we're here, that reminds me. <laughs> you can hire buddies at the Buddy Plaza up ahead. And Master Hamon's grandson, Iori, manages the place. Why don't you go talk to him later? <laughs> Caper around with felines and canines. Makes me wonder where I went wrong. Really? I think buddy handling is quite a noble profession, personally. Uh-huh. Anyway, Master Hammond, I was wondering if my order was ready yet. Hmm. It is. One of, my one of my apprentices will deliver it to you later. Last but not okay, least. just one more stop and we're done. Let's see. Yeah. Sweeter than the sweet dango. It's got to be Yomogi the chef's tea shop. Uh-huh. Let's see. Wire bug. Why are you telling me about the wire bug now? Wire bug displayed at the bottom of the screen, preferring wire dashes or silk bind attacks will deplete this gauge. Oh! Yeah! Haha, <laughs> and you can target it! Okay, now if I remember correctly... Hold on, there's a way to... Game controls... Wire bug. Where's wire bug? There it is. Right, so okay. Um, so you can dash upwards or forwards. And while airborne, you can dash forward and upwards. And I know there's also a way to... Okay, you hold A in midair to stop. So I do this. That allows me to hang. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, 
Oh! Hey, I hear the good news! You're a certified hunter now, recognized by the guild and everything! Congrats! Before you head out on a hunt, make sure you stop by and eat some bunny dango. You'll never taste anything yummy in your life, and they'll get your juices flowing for a hunt. Yamogi's bunny dango really are yummy. So yummy, in fact, I just can't stop eating them on the job. Sure. Ooh, just think about them. It gets me all excited and... Yeah. <laughs> Yamogi, the usual. Please and thank you. Uh-huh. Of course, Noah. One super duper mega dango order coming right up. Thank you. I had a great time on our shopping trip. Thanks for accompanying me. Yep. I had the things I ordered from Master Hammond and Kagero delivered to your item box. Surprise! It's just a little something for me to celebrate you becoming a hunter. Come back when you're done with your registration thingy, okay? Huh? What about the bunny dango? Sure. Sorry, those are all mine. I'd share, but a girl's gotta eat. Mm -hmm. Hey, you should equip a weapon already. I want to see what you look like in your full hunter getup. What do you think? Oh, long. Ah, well, long sword's fine. So cool. uh -huh. You must feel a ton braver now, right? Ride that high over to the gathering hub and get yourself registered as a hunter. Once you talk to Master Hojo and get registered. You can start going out on real live hunts as a real live hunter of Kamura. Exciting! Go visit the hub. I have to wait here for my order, so off you go. I'll be in my usual spot. Come see me when you're done. Come on. Oh, that's a Tetsukabra. Okay. Well, hello there! You sure talk forever to get here. I thought I was gonna croak. You're probably well aware that I, Hojo, am the guildmaster of the Exceptional Gathering Hub. What's that? Your guild registration? Oh, yes. Well, I was getting to it. To I was getting to it. To it before you interrupted me. Ah. Had you let me finish, I would have told you that we no longer do things that way. Get with it. With it, young hunter. Yo -ho -ho. Oh, he actually goes, Jo ho ho ho. No test or papers to stamp, just my okay and you're on your way. Ah. And with that, you're now officially a hunter. And not just any hunter, no, a hunter of Camera Village. Accept a request from our dearest Minoto and go hunt some monsters. No. Oh. About that, as much as I'd like to, I have this to get this report about the rampage ready for the guild. Mm -hmm. I'm terribly sorry, but could you talk to Hinoa first so she can explain quest to you? Yeah. Yo, Ace. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is the guy from the tutorial. Uh -huh. Before you run off to see Noah, pop over here for a sec. I gotta check you out in your new threads. Okay, but question, can I like... There it is. Yeah, there we go. Weaponized bagpipes with chimes on it. Okay, now, unless I missed my... Hmm. Okay, so you got your choice of kin sacks, you got various camera weapons. You got loadouts there. Appearance settings. Is this gonna be just... Okay, it is. Cool. Now here's the question, where do I do the... Hey. Hmm, where do I do the stuff for... Uh, I do, but it's... I don't have like a Discord that I use for streaming. I just have like my personal Discord for things. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna look this up. Where's Monster Hunter Rise? Where do I put it in the
Ah, uh, okay, it's Kagero. I gotta have to talk to him later, I guess. If it isn't Kimura's brightest flame. Looking good, Ace. Congrats on becoming a hunter. All that hard work finally paid off. I'm really happy for you. Yeah. Oh, and before I forget, I gotta tell you about the action bar. Mm. The action bar lets you pull off all sorts of actions without opening any menus. Pretty gnarly, if you ask me. Let's try it out. Select the camera from the action bar and snap a picture of me. Once you take my picture, let me see it. Okay, yep, uh, action bar. Oh! Fair enough. I'm just a, I'm a ninja monster hunter. I hunt giant monsters and also I'm a ninja. That's really all about that. That's really all, everything that you need to know. That's pretty cool though. You can actually get a, a floating selfie cam powered by an owl. So, take a picture as egg. Okay. Hold on a second, I gotta pet the doggo. God, no, I don't care about you right now. There he is! That's my buddy. <laughs> uh, I, I guess so. Alright, off of me. Ready to thrash? Oh yeah, that's one handsome devil Joe. Yeah, <laughs> now that I got acquainted with the action bar, I think it's quest time. But if you're still not confident in your abilities, you can hit up the training area to sharpen them up. Uh -huh. It's just a short boat ride from the Buddy Plaza where Ayori and all his furry friends hang out. <laughs> you can try your hand at all sorts of weapons and skills there. It's a great place to warm up before a big hunt. Alright, I'll quit holding you up. You know, I'm still waiting for you, isn't she? Yep, that's Hunter Notes. Oh, merchant. Hey, listen. What? <laughs> okay, so while we're here. Have a look at my wares. Okay, what do you have? Oh, I get to ride dogs what around. Okay, so sell potions, antidote, bombs, trap tools. Those are useful. I'll probably need to get some more of those soon enough. Scan amiibo figures to get up to three lottery entries per day. A single amiibo can be used for one entry per day. All right. Where is my... There it is. Hey, ooh, what did I get? Spirit smile upon you today. Ooh, yes, I'll take all of them. This is on the Switch, yes. Unfortunately, it's not available for PS4 or Xbox, but it will be coming to PC sometime in 2022. So, at the very least, it'll be an option there. Come again. Hmm, yeah, okay. I, how do I? Hmm. Oh, wait, um. Maybe equipment, blade master, forging equipment, light bulb on reloading, equipment display. 
Got normal statuses. Oh, there's a lot. Hmm. Okay, I think it was... Yeah, it was village. Yeah, okay, that's nothing. I gotta figure out where to put on my uh, layered armor, too. Alright, Hanoa, what's up? It's a good day for a hunt. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Although there is the new Switch which is coming out, so I'm looking forward to that dropping. Like, I don't know how much more powerful it's going to be, but if it's like a significant upgrade from my current Switch, I'll be set and I'll be able to like uh, give this to somebody else. I can trade, trade it off to somebody else as like a gift or something. Or just use it for something. Regardless, whatever Switch I'm using to stream is not going to leave the dock, so maybe I'll take this one and start carrying it around places. All right, so let's see here. Uh, completed registration? Great. Yep. I retrieved your Kohoot from Elder Fugan earlier. It's so cute. You're going to love it. Mm. Kohoots like buddies will help you out in your quest, but in their own little way. So you creatures that beloved through Kamara. The village Eldra gave you Kohoot to look at her as a pet. Oh. Symbol pops up while you have a Kohoot on your arm. Push it and have your Kohoot take flight. Maybe something will happen. Pet menu can open while a coat is perched on your arm. There you can swap out outfits, feed your feathered friend. If you feed your coat, they will greet you once you return from your quest. Huh. Yeah, but the other problem with the PS5 is you can't buy them. I was trying for weeks to get a PS5, and eventually I just gave up. What's a good name for... Whoop. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, now that you're a hunter, you'll be in charge of completing the quests that me and Minota have in our quest lists. Sure. Some of these quests, called Key Quests, have been specially posted by the Hunter's Guild. So if you make a point to completing Key Quests, the Hunter's Guild will take note. Oh, and one last thing. Here, take this Petalus Minoto and I made. As you may be aware, Petalases are protective charms woven from the local plant called Ascending Sprig. Pollen carried by the spear burst will enhance your pedalist in strengthening your abilities. Treat it with care. Oh! Pedalist type of charm, bracelet, woven, spreading sprigs, and camera villages like they're typically worn by hunters. Like any other piece of gear, you can only equip one at a time. They absorb the fragrant pollen from any spear birds you encounter during a quest, granting you special status boons. You can switch them out from your item box managed equipment option. Hmm. Huh. So it's a different kind of temporary buff. I see. Mm. You can't go prancing up before my introduction. Hello, and grats on becoming a hunter. If you ever find yourself taking a hub quest, then I, Sindri the Mailman, have quite the important info for you. You'll need to go through me to meet up with fellow hunters. Make sure to stop by. Yep. Well, I think that about wraps everything up. Time to start monster hunting. Yeah, there it is! Alright, demo player bonus. I got Novice Talisman, the Kamurai Layered Armor Set, Forest Cat Costume for my Palico, Fish Collar for the Palico, Retriever Costume, Shuriken Collar for the Palamute, the Jump Gesture Set, and the Samurai Pose Set. Got some bad news for you, you see? But the rampage is near, it's forbidden for hunters to leave Kamara. And outside, hunters won't be able to enter either. In other words, Kamara is offline. But if you want to form a party, I have a special type of message I can send to get hunters to hightail it here. By sending the message, Kamara will be online and hunters will be able to enter. Just don't ask me how it works. Couldn't understand it myself. Something to do with spider webs. Any mute, come to me whenever you want to swap between offline and online. By the way, did you talk with Minoto about online quests yet? If you haven't, better get your tail and gear so you can go hunting with all your friends. Okay, uh, make use of the lobby or sent out join requests. In the lobby, you can use multiple Nintendo Switch consoles on the same local network. Your Nintendo Switch console must be connected to the internet. Yeah, I got that. That's fine. Lobbies where players congregate to engage in multiplayer gameplay. 
There, all players can make use of the facilities in the village and the buddy plaza, as well as the training area. Players will also be able to visit the private room of the lobby host. You can accept village quests at the quest counter in the lobby, but you can't be able to play these quests with other players. To play others, you need to accept the hub quest at the quest counter in the gathering hub. Team with other players, you can either search for an existing lobby to join or make your own. Uh, up to four players. Talk to Senri the Mailman to choose how you'll connect with other players. If you choose Play Online, you can play with other hunters from around the world. If you choose Play Locally, you can play with hunters who are nearby. Also join lobbies created by friends or players who've exchanged likes from the friend list or the mutual likes list. It's also possible to join lobbies with specific connection conditions. And con Lobby ID allows you to connect directly. There we are. Oh, layered armor's right there. How convenient. Ooh, check this out. And you can change layered armor loadouts too if you want to have specific outfit combinations. Novice Talisman, Critical Eye, and Wall Runner. Okay, uh, skill info is right stick. Oh, yeah, they. I mean. You mean the, uh, the GameCube? Because I remember hearing the GameCube was actually super strong. Ooh, that's pretty good. Oh, was it stronger? Was it really that strong? Huh. I mean, it is pretty decent because it can emulate Wii U... Wii and GameCube games, like natively, which is pretty sick. Actually, I can't remember. Can I take Wii games? Because I do have a bunch of Wii games over there on my shelf. Ah, that makes sense. Hey! Okay, what's a good name for this bird? Kahoot's too close to Kahoot, though. I can change the color. Oh, that's just it's... Okay, that's that. And then it's got a little thing around its neck. Hmm. I can't change the color of it, though. Oh. Look at it. <laughs> All right, away with you. Oh, there it is. Bunny Dongo are a taste of heaven. Hello there. Ready to get into some quests? Hell yes, I am. Mm. Master Utsushi has called for you. Looks like it's time for some basic training. Yep. So pumped about being a real instructor, he kept going on and on about being ready to thrash. Hmm. And so it seems that Elder Fugan may have had part hand in as well, though it was told to keep that part a secret. I suspect they've been racking their brains to think of a way to help your hunting career. How sweet! I've added Sushi's request to the quest list. Accept it whenever you're ready, but make sure you are ready first, okay? Ah. When you are, just head through the quest gate to begin. 
Ah. Let's dive into the quest list. A special quest has been added. So let's see. Talk to one of the twins in either village or gathering hub to accept a quest. To join hub quest by users, use the quest board. Once you accept a quest, you can either press right stick or accept another quest to cancel your current one. Joining a hub quest, select accept via join request. To allow other hunters in other lobbies to join your quest while in progress. Press ZR after accepting a quest or at quest gate to depart. And then you have optional side quests. You can accept five at once. Oh. Okay, so let's go with... Gather mushrooms, gather account items, large monster hunting, and draw materials. Which quest would you like? All right, I have no other quest, so I've just got to do this. Be careful out there. Now, before I depart. Can I... Can I get some food? I guess I have to sit down? Ah, oh, there. That's what I have to do. Order Bunny Dango at the tea shop to gain extra health and stamina and even activate Dango skills if you're lucky. Which Dango skill is activated, as well as its probability of activating, differs for each Dango. You can aim for particular effects by making use of the Daily Dango, which changes with each quest. Pick the right one for the job. All the camera. Increases the number of camera points you receive at the end of the quest. Increased damage dealt by kunai. Helps your weapon retain sharpness. Sometimes decreases damage taken. Prevents you from getting knocked in your butt. Speeds up weapon sharpening. Slightly increases health recovery from items. Increase the quantity of honey obtained when gathering. If you can't choose, just close your eyes and find it one at random. They're all delicious, so you can't go wrong. Sports was pretty great, although I mostly just remember playing it and then cheating at the bowling minigame because what you could do is you could like get yourself up to the line before throwing, but then you could just sit there and swing your arm back and forth a whole bunch and it would just give you a ton of extra speed and just fire the bowling ball off like that. Get you That would get you a strike almost every time, assuming you aimed it right. It was real dumb, but hey, it worked. It was a good way to beat those NPCs, because I swear they cheat. This is a pretty slow burn, though. Like, I think World actually got you into the hunts prior to this. These halls of worship, once so bustling, now home to monsters, stalking and rustling. Hunters, beware. 
Not wait, but despair. Let's go. Good to see you. All right. <laughs> Welcome. I have no idea. Uh, I'm going to swap this real quick. No, hold on. I want to go to options, controls. And I want this to be the item bar, and this is the action bar. So that way, I can just do this to quickly use those items. And these require a separate button to use because they are less useful. I have no idea why it would remind you of Valhalla, though. Maybe, uh... I mean, it's pretty fast. You can do, like... Let me go over here for a sec. Oh, great wire bug. Ooh, a bitter bug. Oh, is the assassin is Valhalla also similarly like over over the top with it? Haha, <laughs> you're here. Let's see. Perform a wire dash facing a wall to initiate a wall run using L to maneuver during a wall run. Hold down R to continue running. Whoops. Oh god. <laughs> Don't want to do that. Oh god, I pushed the wrong button. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> You're here. Yeah, they um in there. Congrats again on making Hunter. A whole new life awaits. Sure thing. <laughs> Can't wait to see. I can see it in your eyes. They're ready to thrash. But let's do a little quest refresher list. Cool. Yeah, uh, they added free climbing in this. Prior to this, you could climb, but it was only on, like, vines and such. Yeah, pretty much. Like, you, you can do a lot more mobility in this than you could in World, and World had a lot of mobility already. Yeah. Start with camp. This is your tent. Here you can change your equipment and weapons or organize your items, which is way better than previous games because un up until World, you couldn't do any of that. You could come here and sleep and that was it. Mm. If you want to bail on your current loadout, you're free to switch your, your gear inside. That over there is the supply box. It's full of really useful items that'll aid you during your quest, like healing items. Mm. And everything in there is provided by the guild, so feel free to take and use whatever you want, which means it's all free. And that's it for the camp. Let's move on to the next part. <laughs> I'll meet you down by the river past the ledge. If you get lost, just look for my icon on your map. Basically just going back over that again. There's a map on the bottom left. Uh, press L to zoom in on the map. You can view a detailed map in the start menu. Press X to change icons around. Yeah, so like here I've got free first aid meds, free food things to increase my stamina, free files. Hmm, I don't know why I have my inventory full of these because I don't use them. Uh, that? Okay, hold on a second. Let me just... go let's do this uh possibly both this is on the switch and it's brand well it's not really a new engine it's using the uh Resident Evil 
It's it's using the new Resident Let's Evil engine, the one that they used for like Resident Evil Remake and Resident Evil 2 Remake. So uh, those things had incredible textures. So it's probably just a case of space saving. Like you're playing it on the Switch, you're not really going to see like a huge amount of texture stuff on this to begin with. So I imagine they probably just didn't bother like super texturing it up. Let's do this. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Ooh, I got iron ore. Instantaneously at that. No sitting around hitting it multiple times. Just instantaneous. Yeah, possibly because of the lower hardware. I imagine it's probably... It's probably like 50-50 for that in space. Hey, up here! Hmm. Alright, let's talk wire bugs. Right. Use them right and they'll be able to zip around anywhere, even to the top of this boulder. Give it a shot! A variety of actions can be performed using the extraordinary creature that is the wire bug. Perform aerial rapid maneuvers with wire dash. Your consumption time needed to regain cover vary for each action. And you can temporarily get an extra wire bug by finding them out in the field. Uh, Prolding ZL and pressing X. Moves vertically, A, but doing this. These, let's see, each weapon has its own unique silk bind action with using ore rock. These can't be used with your weapon sheath. Use it, draw your weapon, hold left trigger or thing if you're a gunner. Then press X or A. I've been waiting for you. Let's talk buddies. Today I brought my Palico and Palamu flash and rumble with me. They'll be lending you a paw for this part of the training. Also, hold on, I got a message I gotta check real quick. Let's see, lending you paw. First, try mounting Rumble, my Palamute. Uh -huh. Palamutes are swift as the wind, so if a monster gives you the slip, hop on your barking buddy. When accompanied by Palamute, you'll have access to the Let Me Ride command, allowing for rapid transport within a locale. Let's see, just hold down the, hold down the A button or issue the Let Me Ride command. Let's see, while riding, use left stick to move around, right to dash forward, ZR to jump, ZL and left stick to drift, X to attack, B to dismount, and B to perform a jumping dismount while dashing. You can also use items while on back of it. Give it a try. Listen up. Go. Whoops, I used a potion I shouldn't have. Yeah, so you get Palamute attack. And, most importantly, Drift! Yeah, hold on a second, I gotta grab that. See, crafting is the art of fusing two items to make another. You can craft two from the start menu from the item box in your house. There's also an auto craft function. So I've automatically crafted some mega potions, which reminds me, actually. I don't remember how to... Okay, so hold on a second. Let me just... First statement plus. Okay, what I'm trying to do here is I know there's a way... There it is, action bar. For our quests. No, I wanted the item bar, not the action bar. I know there's a way 
to modify your item bar's layout so you can set it up however you want. But I've forgotten how to do this. Also, I want to set this thing so it turns on. There we go. So now it'll auto craft first aid med pluses when I have first aid meds to craft. I have to go here. No. I'll deal with it later. I got a stink mink. Got some spider webs. Got another stink mink. Got some berries. Okay, where's this annoying guy at? Ooh, bone. Attention, please. I'm not lost, I just don't care. Hey, check out this yellow spirit bird. Look at that fat thing. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Although, again, it, it's kind of like the comparison between a desktop computer and a laptop. You're not paying necessarily for the upgraded power. You're paying for the portability. The like, laptops are significantly more powerful than, are significantly more expensive than most computers at like equal uh, power level. Or, like, if you buy a computer and a laptop at the same price, it'll be, like, half as good. It's not as extreme, probably, as a Nintendo Switch versus an Xbox One, but it is still, I feel like, same sort of thing. But yeah, thanks for stopping by, though. Have a good, uh, Friday afternoon, evening? I'm not really sure what, it, what time it is there. Maybe even Friday morning. Oh, sick! Yeah, spring break sounds like it'll be good. Assuming you have a spring break. I know some, like, schools do not have it this year. They just have a day off in the middle of the week. Let's see, if you touch one's pollen will enhance the good luck charm you're wearing. You're petalous. When that happens, the scent of the pollen surrounds your petalous and boosts your stats. Sure thing. Since this little guy is yellow, it'll increase your stamina. Similarly, spirit birds of other colors will boost other stats. Pretty gnarly, if you ask me. Mm. The effect is only acted during the current quest, but you can be sure as shurikens that they're worth using. Oh, and there's a cloth fly over there. Cloth flies are one of the many creatures you'll come across out in the field. We'll call these little guys endemic life. Powder these floaty friends spread can boost your defense. There's lots of other endemic life out there that can boost your hunts in different ways. 
have a look around for other endemic life and then play around with them to see what kinds of effects they have. Okay, just a little bit more. Follow me. Alright, now here's something I have to check, right? Do I have... I do not have some kind of... I was thinking maybe there is some kind of um, capture net like there was in World, but it doesn't look like it. Sup, Ace? Right on, Ace. Got the hang of riding Palamutes already. They're super helpful buddies, especially when you need to cover a lot of ground. Boy, are they. Right. And you can even tell them to attack while you're riding them. But their attacks won't be as strong as yours. Mm. So when you're ready to get down to business, it's best to dismount. Oh, looks like we got ourselves some monsters nearby. Mm. How are your health and stamina looking? Be sure to keep tabs on your status while out in the field. When you're ready, let's head up this way. It's time to really get the show on the road. Health bar. This is your health bar. Run out of health and you'll faint. The yellow bar is your stamina bar, which drains when you perform various actions. Coming into contact with the spirit bird during your quest will increase your maximum health and stamina. Hanging in there? Let's see. A pack of Izuchi. All right. Let's take... There's three of them. Go take them out for me. Mm. Don't hold back just because they're small now. They can be skillful and ruthless. Yeah. Just remember your training and you'll be golden. Now ready your weapon nice and steady and take him down one attack at a time. Okay, that one's dead. If it isn't Kimura's brightest flame. Now that sucks. But then again, that also means you can pay for it. And then once work's over, you get to play from Arvit. Awesome job there, Ace. Oh, and don't forget to carve to harvest materials for monsters. They can be used for upgrades at the Smithy. Oh, okay. You can check out my character in a second. When you're done carving, come see me. Like, check out this guy. Yeah. It's kind of hard to see him because he's wearing a hat and in combat. But I'll, I'll show him off in a second. Okay, where are those... Where are those Izuchi at? There he is. There's one of them. Don't mind me. Okay, where's the other two Izuchi? I actually don't see them. Hmm. All right. Hey, hero. Just as I was expected from my star pupil. That was an incredible hunt. There's something you think you could have done better. Don't worry. After all, you're just getting started. Mm -hmm. Now then, let's head back to camp. It looks like we're kind of far away from it. But no big deal, yo. Use fast travel and you'll be back camp in no time. I'm going to go ahead. See you there. Um, wait. Ah, hold it. And then fast travel to the main camp. <laughs> Congratulations! You completed this basic training quest. I'm now proud to send you out in the field as a full-fledged hunter. You've learned well, but keep in mind, Elter Vugan, I accept much from you. Uh -huh. If you ever feel like going over your basic training again, all you need to do is accept this quest from Hinoa.
Yeah, crest rewards. Take everything. Also, I like how there's very clearly a Nargakuga hanging out there in the back. See, Lu, Sushi's low quest was no match for you. Ha <laughs> ha, I expected nothing less. <laughs> what you learned today is the very essence of hunting, brother. Whenever the hunt takes you, their lessons are always hold true. Now, I know I should have some one-star quests for you. Hell yes. Hold on a second, you got a blue mark. See, if you ever hear of any villager having trouble, I want you to lend an ear, or if you can help, lend him a hand, too. I know it's the sun of all, but don't worry. I got something nice and easy to get you used to it. I need you to bring me something. Think you can do that? Come back and see me when you're ready. Okay, what do we have? Uh, request our type of side quest from people around the village, indicated by a blue speech bubble. By slaying monsters, delivering items, or otherwise fulfilling the villagers' wishes, you'll receive various rewards. Deliveries require that you deliver an item to the requester. By talking to the requester, you can view your deliveries. I need to deliver a well-done steak. Move your armor by upgrading it. Make sure to bring the needed armor spheres with you. See, you've been enough use them to upgrade your gear. Yeah, okay. Uh, register any equipment that you'd like to forge or upgrade to a wish list. Okay. What do you need? So, I'm going to be real. I don't think upgrading this is worth it in the least. Because <laughs> armor is something that you just make. My hammer's ready. Weapons you upgrade. Armor, you make a new set, and then you upgrade that new set. And there's no point in upgrading your starter gear, really. Let's see, in either case, both materials and money are needed. Okay, you can also roll back. Kamara Chaos. Iron Horn. Bone Horn. Ooh, I can upgrade this to level 2. I'm used to waiting. Gotcha. Now this means I haven't even seen the thing I need in order to upgrade it. Defense, attack, and health recovery. This is Sonic, Wave, Stamina, Recovery, and Defense up. Environmental damage negated, defense, and attack. And no idea. Yeah, I've seen the great wire bugs. I used it before. Only catch is, you'll, once you them down some lily jewels, they ain't moving. Since they're so big, they're hard to steer. Once you place one down, you'll be zipping all over the place, and they'll be there when you come back, too. Yep. Piqued your interest? All right, here. Some great wire bugs of your very own. Don't say I didn't, never did anything for you. Sure. Try it out next time you're on the hunt and spot some jewel lilies. Hang in there. Oh, you can confirm how many great wire bugs you have in your item pouch. If you don't have any great wire bugs, you cannot travel from jewel lilies. Some wire jewel lilies, however, will have wire bugs in them from the start. Oh, are these fast travel points? What's this? Ooh, my room. There's the housekeeper.
Uh, let's see. Buddy board. Allows you to select up to two buddies to accompany you on your quest as well as manage their equipment. It doesn't function like normal equipment, but instead allows you to change your look of your buddy's current armor without changing its effect. Oh, cool. I can get a fish collar. Oh, so it's layered armor that does this. Look at that. Literally just a lab. Just just a Labrador Retriever. <laughs> do, do, do. All right, here we go. That's my house. Very cool. Ah, oh, welcome back. Let's see what's going on over here. Te fuck is acting. Ah, so you're still you're still waiting on that? Ah, that sucks. Well, don't worry. I'll be playing Runa tomorrow, so you'll get at least something from me <laughs> as a consolation prize, I guess. Let's see, greetings and salutations. I'm Shooter Bay, and I run the Buddy Plaza here. Welcome. Meow that you're a bona fide hunter, allow me to welcome you to the Buddy Plaza. Buddy Handler Ayori will give you the rundown on all things Buddy. You hire Buddy, you'll get a trusty battle companion to aid in all your hunting endeavors. Feline Chef Kogarashi is a top cat when it comes to managing meow scenarios. You can count on any buddies you have on standby to hunt for materials while you're hunting monsters. Ooh. This ferry goes to the training area. What? Just because you're a hunter down doesn't mean you can't start slacking on training. Alright, sounds good. And Rodin here is a track from outside camera. Oh, look at that! Just straight up guild. If you're going to enter needs a stock of good items, no matter how obscure, she'll probably have what you're looking for. You'll find the buddy board here where you can manage your buddies. There's no like it all over the village. Maybe you've already seen one? If you hire any buddies from Oyori, you can always manage them here. Anyway, every day the buddies can work their tails off to get better and stronger. That's about all I've got for you. If you want to know more, you'll have to talk to everyone yourself. Hello. The Argosi? Wow. As you see, I'm a trader traveling the seas from a far off land to the west. Making a stop on my travels here. Trading is a marvelous activity, no? It's actually just, it's called the Argosi. All right, on to training room. Yeah, I saw this thing in the previews. Man, when you get up close to that thing, you can tell the textures are not quite as good as they could be, but when it's a little bit further away, it looks real good. <laughs> oh, I love that detail. There's a palico in the background just carrying some targets. You can practice it using a weapon by attacking objects in the training area. Different weapons can be tested this way by changing them at your item box. Thank you. 
Okay, that one's a bit tricky to land. So let's try that again. Ooh, wait, can I do that in the air? I can't. No, but I can't do that, so... Okay, so we got targets over here, if I want to use a bow gun or a bow. Hmm. Nice. Now I can sprint along these cables just up in the air. That's something? No, it's not. Man, this is super cool. I do wish the UI was a little bit less cluttered, but I can't really do anything about that, I suppose. Yeah, I did it! Okay, can I get up there now is the question. Sure can! Ooh, what is this? Oh, you got some Palamutes there. Something... It's kind of like a mural of... Okay, what's going on here? Oh, what am I doing? I got a camera for this. Whoops, wrong one. Alright, so like, we've got here what seems to be a bunch of hunters fighting off monsters, riding on Palamutes. Then, let's see, um... The monster's fighting off Palamutes. That's a Mizutsune right there. Oh, it looks like lightning bolts being dragged. That's a Diablos. That's yeah, Mizutsuna. You can see the bubbles. Okay, Mizutsune, Diablos. They're, this is really hard to make out, I just like to say.
That looks like it might be like a Rathalos or something. The head's really deformed. That's definitely Diablos. I'm not sure about that one. It's got kind of a weird curved horn to it. Got a lot of lightning bolts sort of like raining from the sky over here too. Interesting. I wonder what that, that's probably gonna be something I'm gonna have to come back and see it later. But for right now, it's just a nice detail that's hanging out. Whee! Oh, there's a wire bug over there. Oh, you can use a wire. You can use the wire bugs to guard yourself if they charge you. That's a nice detail. What do we got up here? Seems like not a whole lot. All right. Oh wait, is there something over here? Nope. Explicitly nothing. Oh! This is probably how you're actually supposed to get over there. And then if I miss my... Unless I miss my guess... Hmm, no, I appear to have missed my guess. I thought there would be a way to chain wire bugs all the way up, but it looks like there isn't. Oh well, not a big deal. Onwards, back to the main place. Oh, thanks for the follow, Wise Raven. I just saw that happen. here. I guess I should probably take quests. I have basically avoided taking quests so far, which I really... Umbrella Merchant. I just like exploring around here, though. It's cool. It's a new town. Rice merchant Suz Suzukari. Hmm. Take care of yourself. Huh. Yeah. Rampage is causing a bit of a mess, but we'll do what we can to keep trade going. All right, let's go take a quest now, for once. How are you today? Hey. 
Hmm. Yep, all right. Uh, let's go. One star quests. It's a good day for a hunt. So you can complete a certain number of key quests, which are carefully selected by the hunter. You'll be eligible to take on important urgent quests, which unlock the next quest level. And there's also yellow quests. Yeah, I got these. I'm almost done gathering honey. Ooh, expedition tour. Yeah, there are quests where you're free to explore without a time limit. Fainting will cause you to fail them, so they're great opportunities to gather materials or take pictures. Alright, what do we got? Help with maintenance, slay eight great Izuchi, or slay eight Izuchi. Slay eight Jagras! Deliver eight unique mushrooms, deliver eight fire lanterns. You know what? I'm gonna go kill some Jagras. Let's see. Motley Mix. Transform random materials such as raw meat into rations. Ah, oh, okay. Using a dango at the tea shop will cause all of your dango skill activation chances to increase. Oh. Let's eat a meal. Okay, what did I get last time? It was... Points. Honey. Sharpening. I love how goofy that looks. I hope there's a great Jagras around. I really hope there's a great Jagras nearby. I want to fight great Jagras again. I want to turn him into a coat. Use his weapons to grind my bones into weapons. See, fog would dispel as you explore the locale. Unknown monsters or unknown monsters or monsters that you've launched before indicated with a generic icon on your map. However, once you come into contact with a monster, the generic icon is replaced by a monster's unique icon. Listen up. Oh, before I do. Probably dump that ammo in the in my storage. So the reason I do this is because one thing I've learned is that if I ever need to go into using a bow gun, I want all the ammo I can get my hands on, really. Because even if I don't use it, I can craft better armor better ammo with it. And you don't get this ammo once you go into uh, high rank. Like, it stops giving you just a bunch of the free ammo. Hey, look! It got some Jagras! Yeah, whatever. They can take care of that for now. Go, my 
behind me. Is that a Bulfongo over there? What's that doing here? Well, you know what? You're gonna be meat in a second. Hold on, I saw another Bulfon go around here. Where'd it go? Yeah, whatever. Where'd it go? It was here a second ago. I don't know where it went. Huh. Good old vig Vigor Wasps. Blue Mushroom. Or Toadstool. Oh yeah, I did have that quest, didn't I? I'm really just running around to see if maybe there's a uh, a great Jaggers hanging around here someplace. Oh, hi! Careful. Give me that. Give me that. Nothing personal. Hmm, so you got three max. Alright, good to know. Now, if I remember correctly from the demo... Somewhere around here... Should be... Wrong one. Yeah, there it is. Wasn't exactly where I thought I was going to wind up, but it works. Let's Ooh, you know, I got the mushroom colony. Delivery complete. Okay, this is the top of it. So let's go. Go up here. Man, where are those Jagras at? Oh, they're on the other side of the map. Antacobra. Or Antidobra. So cures poison. It's a fucking emu! Okay, I dropped the egg and that was that. Well, that was a mistake. Pay attention to your stamina. I'm fine. Let's 
see. When you fish for it, make sure to pro your sheath. Approach, pull out A. Cast lure. Press A to reel it in. Come on. What I get? I got a shrapnel fish or scatter fish. Pop fish. Are they just they just having fun at this point? They're just having a laugh as it were. Come on. There we go. Ooh, biggin. Yeah. What even is that? Big Compass Tuna. Look at the size of that. All right, let's go keep... Nope, wrong one. I want to get on the dog. I see. So if you surprise them, they drop a golden egg. That's honestly pretty funny. Oh boy, do I wish I had a transporter. I wish I had a transporter skill right now, but it's fine. I also wish that I had a uh, another campsite. But I don't know if there is another campsite in this uh, map. Okay, how do I get up there again? Ah, there is a way up. Boy, moving fast really just drains that stamina, huh? Yeah! I successfully delivered a gold gargwag. Now back to killing Jagras. Whoops. Sorry, pal. You guys can take care of that one for a second, right? Oh 
mind me. Oh, nice. They just went and killed this thing for me. Pretty good deal. Before I forget to... Time to cook. Damn it! What's the button? Was it X? Or Y? Was it A? There we go. So you actually have to wait for the color change. It's not like before we just do it as soon as the music lets up. So tasty. Success. Time to cook. How many of those do I still have? I have one rare steak. I'll just eat that now. I have one raw meat. Might as well cook the last one. Yeah. That's the good shit. Actually, where are you? Get, let me give, give me a ride. We may be hunting Jagras, but we're also hunting for new parts of the map. Ooh, bones. What's this? See, there's some more Jagras. I'll do with you soon enough. <laughs> Is there really no big monster here right now? I'm, I'm legitimately a little surprised. I guess they probably don't want to risk players getting bodied by something they can't fight this early on, but there's nothing that could have stopped him from putting a Great Jaggers in here, right? It's not like Great Jaggers is particularly threatening. Even the greatest Jaggers was still just, like, fairly tough. Once you understand what he does, he stops being a big deal. Ooh, jewelry found. Where'd that go? There it is. So they are fast travel, but they're not fast travel to like map fast travel. They're just fast travel around specific sections. See anything else around here? That's a monster nest, if I've ever seen one. Guard. 
Are you a Vespoid? Get over here. Get over here. I'm trying to hit you. Yeah, I think those were Vespoids. And we have some Kelby over here. That takes care of that. Now let's just clear out the last... Ooh, wait, hold on. Iron. Clear out the last sections on the map I still have covered up by fog. And then I can go kill a couple Jagras. When luring monsters, monsters in a lured state achieved either by enraging them or using a stink mink will go after the player for a limited amount of time. You can thus lead the monster... But it may lose track of where you went, of you when moving to areas where it can no longer pursue, or when you're too far away. Let's see. Uh, you can lure monsters by first using a stink pink and then approaching a monster. Once they detect the pheromone, they'll follow you until the effect wears off. By luring a monster into the proximity of another monster, you may be able to have them fight or wrestle over territory. This can result in massive damage between them, or even have them go into a mountable state. If you come across a stink pink, use it to lure your target to another monster and watch the mayhem unfold. Cool. So there's actually a way to lure things around now. In World, I think you could use the Challenger Mantle to do that, but it was not very reliable, really. Bandits. Who are you? A Ragi. Sorry, pal. Kelby, anything else around here worth looking at? Some fish. The fuck are you? What? Bomb badgy? Okay, so they just give you raw meat. Alright, traveling to the camp seems like the fastest way to go. I like how they throw down a smoke bomb just for good measure.
I'm gonna have to make some item loadouts because this needs to be fixed up. So I don't have to deal with all this junk hanging around. I also need to figure out how to get the, um... How to actually do the item bar fixing because that really needs to be adjusted. Nothing personal. Give me that. I see the Bulfongo sleeping because it's nighttime. Oh, that makes sense. What's this? Ah. Uh. I did it. I killed some of the easiest enemies in the game. Nothing personal. Take all that. Ooh, level increased. I don't really know what that does in this instance. Probably gives them a little bit more damage. Because I'm pretty sure they're basically immortal. If they die, they just come right back a couple of seconds later. There's Narkakuga back there. Let's see. There's Tigrex. Ooh, Zenogre. There you go. Yeah. Now that you help me, I got a little another favor to ask you. You know, everyone is doing their own little thing to help camera out. Sometimes they need a helping hand. A well-armed one, if you know what I mean. <laughs> How about lending one to your fellow citizens if you happen in the chance? After all, strength in a relationship strengthens camera. Good luck. All right, do we have any big old... Who are you? Rice ball artist? Hmm, I'm not seeing anybody. Okay, let me quickly just do this here. So manage items. Let's transfer this stuff over. Uh, yes, that'll do. So what else can I grab from my box? Ooh, 
pitfall traps are good. But do I have any tranks? I don't seem to see any tranks. So you get one of those, you get like one of these. And then how do you make those? Pitfall traps you make using a trap tool and a net. Nets are made with ivy and spider web. Which is not quite as effective as this, which is just thunderbugs. I need to get thunderbugs. Parashrooms and sleep herbs, which I don't have yet. Uh, mega barrel bombs right there. So now while I'm doing this, I suppose I should probably go talk to uh, Minota over here. Deal with this. Hello. Oh. Meant for a party of hunters. Quest ranked at one star and two star and so on. Mm -hmm. One to three class are rank classified as low rank. Four to seven are classified as high rank. Mm -hmm. Hunter rank determines what quest you're able to accept. Hunter rank of one allows you to accept one star quest. Hunter rank two lets you accept two star. You get the idea. Oh. Let's see what you got for one star quest then. Which quest would you like? Oh. Frost Islands. Cool. So here we've got an Aknosom. A Kuliyaku. Uh, a Great Izuchi. A Great Baggy. A Lagombi. A Great Uragi. Arzuros. Slate total of 20 Izuchi or Altaroth. Or slate total of 20 Zamite and Banapra. Let's go with... drew all the monster pictures. Aren't they great? They're actually pretty I'm good. Trying to learn as well, but it's very hard. Let's try out killing an Arzuros. These things are pretty easy. May the spirits protect you. Yeah, what up? Hey there. Sup, base? I also give out arena quests. Two types of quests. Arena and challenge. They're both types of quests. Perfect for hunting your hunting skills. Mm. They're both cut. Available to successfully complete hunts and gain new yeah. abilities. How do you think? Keep it up. Cool. Um, let me get some food. Yo. I love how over the top this, these cooking animations are. Nothing is quite as... Let's see. Grand Meowster is top tier. Toppest of tiers. Meowscular Chef is also up there. But, like, the cooking animations are always completely ridiculous. Like, the uh, fondue in GU was just, like... That's a good-looking fondue. The dango here, you get... Like a stupid ninja slash going on to cut it, or you get like she uses a target board effectively to hit them all. Uh. I'm ready. 
All right, where are you at? Oh, there's three of them. Oh god, that's right. These are meant for multiple hunters, which is why there's gear for F4 people. Forgot about that part. Alright, where's the... There they are. Okay, so Arzuros is a big old bear, likes eating honey, which means it's probably that one in the middle left between 10 and 5. I'm going to take a wild guess and say the one over here is probably going to be like a Great Izuchi or Great Jagras or something like that. And the one top left is probably like Mizutsune. Oh, it's a Great Jagras. It's definitely a Great Jagras. Come on, show me the gra Jagras. Oh, no, it's the Arzuros. I'm actually kind of surprised. Okay, well, there's that. These are the hunting bases. Okay, it's fine. Missed it. Ow. All right, I got this. Oh God, paralysis, what? Oh, that was a stun. Okay, we're fine then. That's fine, I know exactly where it is. But let's see what's up this way first. It's a great Azuchi! Knocked down the building, okay. Ow. Should have backed off instead. I tried to dodge through it. Oh yeah, it's... I've been excited about this game for a while. Alright, messed up that.
Okay, come on. Got him. And I missed. Ah, that wasn't great. Yeah! Ah, I need to re- My weapon's sharpened. Oh, it's running. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so now that that's taken care of, who's the last one on my list here? Oh, it's actually near base. All right, who have we got? Who is our last contestant of the day? I saw a tail. Who could it be? It's... Uh... Great Gombi? I don't remember what they're called. I don't know, it's that other great monster that I didn't remember what it was called. Let's go. After it! This one cannot be allowed to escape. Okay, where? Where'd you go? Where is he? He's around here someplace. Where? Am I blind? Am I blind? There he is. Poison. Poison breath. That's not cool. This early in the game, poison, really. Okay, come on. Let me act. Watch out! It's all over for you. Or not. That's cool too. Get out of there! Oh, babies! Okay, I believe I've enraged it. state time get monsters into a mountable state by attacking them enough with firebug jump attacks or silk fine moves letting them fight each other or using certain endemic life 
Approach a monster in the state and land a blow or sheath your weapon and press A to start Wyvern Riding. So land a blow or sheath your weapon and press A. Wirebug attacks and Silk Bun moves at flank damage and put monsters into a malleable state. Now. Yeah, baby! Wyvern, ride time. Wyvern Riding's a state in which you can control a monster bound in iron silk. Hold R and use the left stick to move. Attack with A and X, evade with B. While riding, riding, press Y to dismount and launch the monster forward. The monster will take damage and topple over if it collides with a wall or an obstacle. If you launch the monster you're mounted on another monster, you can force the monster into a mountable state, letting you hop on and take control. Attacking other monsters while wyvern riding fills your wyvern riding gauge. When it's been fully filled, you can unleash a mounted punisher. However, once the gauge is full, it will begin to diminish until it is empty, so make sure you pull off your mounted finisher before it runs out. The Wyvern Riding Timer shows how long you can stay mounted. The timer will tick down as time passes or if you are attacked by other monsters. Once time is up, you'll be bucked off your mount, so try and execute a mounted punisher or monster launch before then. Attacks and flinches while Wyvern Riding can be canceled by pressing B. This consumes Firebug. Executing Evade and Emergency Evade commands just as you're attacked by another monster will stun it, allowing you to shrug off an attack. Let's see. Yep. Got this. Okay, let's go. Time to launch. Launches the monster you've mounted, sending it hurtling into obstacles, inflicting serious damage, and toppling it over. Make sure to aim for a wall or obstacle when launching the monster for maximum damage. After launching a monster into a wall or obstacle, press B to regain footing. Amazing! Pulled it off! Oh, that's not good. Oh yeah, what happened? And I missed. He's running. Nothing personal. Oh, so it's just Don't mind me. Oh, that's it. So it's just going to be on Game Pass. That's the big announcement. Yeah, welcome to uh, the wonderful world of presentations. I've watched a couple. <laughs> I've watched a couple presentations which wound up the exact same way.
Ow. Oh, Jesus. Get out. Get me out. Get me out. Let me out. Where do you think you're going? Hey. Where do you think you're going too, buddy? Oh, he's going away there. Alright, thanks for stopping by. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully there's better news in the future. But yeah, like, that... Get used to disappointment whenever you're watching a developer stream like that. Unless they explicitly say there's a big announcement then it's always going to be something incredibly mundane and not worth it. Like, I've watched plenty of streams for, like, Monster Hunter or fighting games or whatever, where it's just like, nothing happened at all. You having a good time there, Arzuros? Watch out! Incoming! Well, this is bad. Two. Show no mercy. And I'll blind him. Okay, miss that. That's fine too. Keep missing him. Ow. I wonder if this thing's actually, like, scaled for four people. Because he has taken a lot of punishment so far, so I feel like he should be pretty... Pretty close to being, uh... At least mountable at this stage. Oh, not for long, he isn't. Go. Hmm. I could continue fighting this one. Or I could go kill one of the other two, probably. Too blunt. What do you mean? It's a... It's a bagpipe. What do you mean, too blunt? Okay, that was a good combo. Did a good amount of damage there. Ooh, thanks! The dog is riding!
Ow. And please let me mount already, Christ. There we are. There we go, finally. All right, into the walls with you. Oh boy, I can tell he's slow. Oh, he's fucking off. After him. With any luck, he's going to go into nesting right now. Or have a three-way fight with the other two. Which seems to be what's happening. Oh boy, is it. Yeah, here we go, boy. Come on. Oh, jeez. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Do, 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 do. Watch out! This isn't good. Ah, it's fine.
Ah. I'm just getting hit by all the moves. Nice. Yeah, get wrecked. That looks like a limp to me. Don't mind me. That looks like that might be a limp to me, but also I'm very low on stamina. No, I don't think that was a limp. Fear my but it was a sign of weakness! Okay, fine. Oh, I thought I dodged that one. There's another move I know that I don't remember how to do, which is... There we go. I, uh, can I take a second here? Okay, it's running. Good. That works. Okay, um, 100 notes, weapon controls, hunting horn, 
Perform Magnificent Trio. Ah. ZR after Magnificent Trio or Slide Beat. Slide Beat being my Silk Bind attack. Go. Looks like we've got a three man, or no, it was a three man, now it's a two man fight. Ooh, somebody dropped something. Okay, are you gonna go to sleep? That's a no. Did I get a sushi fish from that Arzuros material? Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. What'd I break? Dunno, probably was a tear or something. Or a head, maybe. Let's go, boy! and A for a Mountain Punisher. Oh, it looks like the Izuchi is almost ready to go. It actually has a marking. Which means it's probably returning to nest. Oh, it's perfect. Thanks for the help, buddy.
Where's the Izuchi? I'll deal with the Arzuros later, but the Izuchi is a bigger issue. Because I might be able to just immediately capture it. Oh, is the Arzuros still following me? It sure is. Appeared to have ditched it. Oh, I don't have any Trank Bombs. Right. So I had to fight this thing anyway. Damn! I wasn't expecting that thing to crumble. There we go, and I have no idea what Infernal Melody is. Well, there goes my weapon. Ah, there's the limp. Nothing personal. That's what I was looking for. Screamer sack. Oh, that actually fits perfectly fine with this thing, doesn't it? Ooh, great Roggy was here. Alright, let's head back to camp real quick. I can reduce my burden here for a second. Okay, 
I need... Oh yeah, my weapons are all fixed up. Perfect. Now time to kill an Arzuros. Oh god, I spent too much time. I may fail this quest because I spent too much time trying to kill that everything instead of the Arzuros. I did not keep track of my time. This was bad management. This was very bad time management. Um... Let's hope I can pull this off. There he is. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Damn it. Hitboxes. Spicy. Oh, no, you don't. Ooh, I got some stuff here. Nice. We dropped a fish. All right, that's fine. Ow, oh, come on. Oh, I'm healing this whole time, so whatever. Oh, right, I need to do the wire bug thing to get out of that, don't I? Going down. 
This is bad. Well, I missed. I literally just missed. Okay, he's almost done. Hey, come over here. Over here, idiot. Come on. Come on, I'm trying to do this so much. Just get mounted again. Ow, I knew that was coming. I've been watching for it, but still didn't. Come on, I don't have much time. I wish I had a 15 minute timer for this. I also wish I had Trank Bombs because this would be done by now. How much time do I have left? Doesn't say. Here we go, come on. I pushed the wrong button. I was trying to do that one. Please? Really? God damn it! Christ. Okay, I've got very close on the timing.
probably had like a couple more hits on him too. If I hadn't messed up on the wake up, I might have actually had it. Ugh. So disappointed in that. I also good day for a hike. I really should see if I can make some Trank Bombs or something, or buy them. Can you make- can you give me Trank Bombs? Nope. Come back anytime. Uh, maybe... There's always some kind of grow box farm thing. Buddy Dojos where Palicos and Palamutes go to undergo training. Spend Karma points at the Buddy Dojo to get your buddies training. By doing so, buddies will gain experience points and increase their level. Okay. I think, I think somebody in here I might be able to talk to about getting farming going. that buddy plaza shrine shrine seal is not yet broken leave all your buddy needs heard your camera hunter now congratulations wow mm. nice talking to you I don't know how to get the farming going maybe I'll be introduced to it later Yeah, maybe I have to do more village progress. Oh, hello. All right, there's a, probably a quick question, question here I can do. I'm surprised this is optional. So how about uh, let's get fire lanterns? I'm not even sure what these are. Don't forget to eat. I don't think I need to eat for this quest. Thanks though. Aha! Uh -huh, there we go. Great Azuchi Wind Thief Horn. Which I can't make because I'm missing a Great Azuchi Tail, which I'm not going to get without See using a sharp weapon. Have a look around. Maybe I can get a long sword then to fix that. Need Azuchi Tails for all this. Yeah, whatever. I'll deal with this for now. Uh, uh. So I just gotta go find some of whatever these are and take care of them. Uh, delivering the specified delivering the specified items. Transport items cannot be delivered to the supply box. Or supply box of carrying items. Listen up. Green dots to know where the deliverable materials are. So there's one very close to me. It looks like. So 
a deliverable here. Must be up there. What do we got here? Shimmering red berry. Is that one of them? I guess it was. I got two. Okay. Wisp lanterns. So those aren't fire lanterns, they're a different item. Okay, these ones are up there-ish. So they're over right there. All right, I think I did pick up one of these last time we was in this area, didn't I? I think I did actually go when I was up there. I think I did pick up some kind of red lint, red berry thingy. Okay, now it's around here. Yep, there it is. Fire lantern and a wisp lantern. God. I'm just I'm just really sad that I died to that Arzuros. I didn't die to the Arzuros, I just sending sprigs. Attack these bushes to cut them down, reveal any spear birds hiding inside. Ah, oh, cool. I wonder if that's something. No, just a shrine hanging out. Oh man, really? Yeah, midair. Uh, I'm just really disappointed by that. You over in the tea shop has been looking for you. She needs to get set over something. Go and check on her, would you? <laughs> Worst news ever. Hey, hey there. Terrible news? Real emergency. Oh. Oh, I bit my tongue. <laughs> All right, the news. A great Izuchi is tearing up the shrine ruins. It's absolute carnage. Yep, yep. All right, easy enough. 
Let's go. Bunny Dongo are a taste of heaven. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Great Azuchi time. Special quest as well. Have a look. Be careful out there. All right, I'm going to get started on this quest in a second. But first, I need to eat, and then I'll be right back. Hey, you're back! I know what you like. Yeah, I love that one too. You hear? 